Hi everybody. Sorry for my scruffy attire but it's been a long day and it's what time is it now? Ten past one in the morning and I've just finished hats off because they've got to go to my great uh, nephew JP tomorrow. So I thought well, I'd better do a quick video <laughs> while I still have them otherwise I'd be saying well I did make a hat but you wouldn't know I had. Uh, first of all, I say thank you all very, very much for your support. I was very, very down with the incident that happened. If you don't know what happened, look at my previous video and then you'll know. And I was just overwhelmed with all your show of support for me. It did help an awful lot, so thank you all very much for that. The situation, in the end, I gave in, sent her the money back, even though I have no sweater. Uh, my Hermes, uh, my courier. I've assured me that um, it's on its way back to me, so I've got my fingers crossed that it does. Otherwise, I would be really out of pocket. Uh, I wouldn't have minded if she would have been dissatisfied with my work, although that would have hurt me. But I could have understood it. But this was just all nastiness, really, because of the courier failing to deliver when they say they would. Bear in mind that from the time of my sending it to the time she got her money back, it was only seven days. Um, and if all of you have waited for things that you've ordered off various places, <laughs> you know that like it can be up to 28 days before you get anything. So anyway, but apparently she wasn't willing to wait. So anyway. Right, what have I been doing? Well, you know I made the other two little... Um, I just love making babies, sort of little girls things. And as I was so stressed up, I just had to put my knitting on one side. Uh, that was ordered, I just had to put it on one side and just do something that would soothe me. So crocheting soothes me, as you probably gathered. This is a little um, top I've made. Um, the pattern had got long sleeves. I bought this pattern, by the way, off Etsy. So it's still around if you want to know. It's Serdar 3030. The only thing I altered was, if you noticed, it's got a very small neckline there. Uh, it has got long sleeves but I was using up some wool and I just had one ball, 100 gram ball and a half of a 100 gram ball left of the patent smoothie which is absolutely fabulous to work with and I put the uh, little heart buttons on in wooden. Now the sleeves didn't have any shaping so I didn't have to you know alter them I just cast it on what, well chained on what it told me and uh, just stop when I ran out of wool, basically. Um, anyway, what I've been making is... Uh, oh, I forgot to bring Hayley from Hayley's Hats. Her husband's now making um, some candles. And uh, they sent me a beautiful one down to try. Um, it's Fold House... Oh, sh sh oh, I'll put a link to it <laughs> anyway. <laughs> underneath in the, um, the box underneath the video, because I can't remember its exact name. But the beautiful little homemade soy candles that he's made, and mine's um, I asked for was uh, uh, baby powder, I think it's called. Yeah, baby powder. It's a very, very light fragrance, the baby powder. It's not one of those in your face the minute you light it. It's very delicately flavoured. Flavoured? <laughs> Scented. I've got to eat the darn thing, am I? Um, I'd asked Harry to make um, a hat for JP because I can't do animals, can't do faces. My faces always finish up like that, I can't do them. Anyway, this is a beautiful hat she's made me. And what I like about Haley's hats is she fleece lines every one of them. So if you live somewhere really cold or your child's a bit sensitive to anything and it likes a nice soft lining on anything like that, then she makes all different kinds. You don't have to have a fox hat. If you look on her, um, Haley's Hats, that's H-A-Y-L-E-E-S, Haley's Hats. If you look on her page, then you'll see all kinds of different hats that you can order from her. Well, that's Mr Fox. What have I done? Well, <laughs> um, these patterns I got from, I think, either Etsy or Ravelry. I can't remember exactly where I bought them. This is called the Easy Peasy Train Hat, and it's by, oh, can't read it. My eyes have gone tonight. Britta Graham and it's um, a train hat. I'm, I'm not too bad when it's inanimate objects, you know. It's just faces I can't do. Anyway, this is my version of the train hat. So 
Oh, it's got little buttons, you know, for its wheels. So it's just very easy, very simple shapes like rounds for the smoke that comes out the engine. So I'm all right with anything like that. <laughs> Could do little quick things like that. Uh, the next hat I made him, I think I saw it first on Pinterest, but of course there's never a pattern attached to the ones you like on Pinterest. You click on them and there's nothing there. And then I saw it, uh, Margaret Orlando had made one. Uh, I can't remember if she did it on her idea whether she crocheted it, I can't remember. And then uh, also Erin uh, from Gimme Yarn 148, I think it is. She'd also made one. Anyway, this is my version of the, hat, the little cars on the road. But I have to confess that I cheated. I bought the little cars <laughs> through um, eBay. They came all the way from China, so I bought the little cars. So it was an easy peasy hat for me to do because I just did the basic hat, made it like a roadway and sewed on the ready-made cars. They weren't too expensive either of you spot them. I'm sure they've got more, but they do take a long time to come. Well, a while to come because they come from Hong Kong. And the last one I made is uh, another pattern. I can't remember where I bought it from. It's called Fire Engine Pom Pom Hat. It goes from one to ten years. And uh, I may have bought it on uh, Etsy or I may have bought it on Ravelry. I can't remember. Or it may even have been a free pattern. I'm not too sure about that one. And um, that's my, <laughs> my attempt at a fire engine. It's not looking very fire engine -y, but I've got a wonky looking door and uh, never mind. Anyway, he's only two, so he won't notice it's a bit wonky, my fire engine. This is one reason why I don't do hats, you know, with things on the front. <laughs> I much prefer to do an adult hat where you don't have to put any of this on. Oh dear, so that's his hats done. He's got the four hats now, so he's got it done. Um, I got a book. Um, I'm a bit wary now about doing um, reviews because I told you that I got this strange email from uh, Facebook saying did I own the copyright to what I was putting on my uh, videos. So, I mean, I can't see that anybody's complained because most people when I do a book review, you know, the author or whoever, usually thanks me for doing them because inevitably it leads to more sales. Anyway, this one is crochet wraps every which way. It's by Tammy Hildebrand, or Hildebrand. And it's, um, which isn't really what I thought, I didn't really study the book uh, before I ordered it. I usually pre-ordered them off Amazon. And when I come to look at it, it's got 18 original patterns, but six different techniques. Um, I can show you the little pictures because I'm not giving anything away there. There's like um, broomstick lace, Tunisian, uh, what else is there? Oh, hairpin, ordinary lace, and the, um, you know, the motive lace. And then that's, oops, can't open it, that's the rest of the ones that are in there. So I more or less stupidly assumed that they would all be ordinary, ordinary crochet. But there's six techniques. I'm just trying to work out the six techniques. So that's ordinary crochet, motif crochet, hairpin, Tunisian, broomstick. I can't remember what the last one is. I can't remember what the last one is. Hopeless, aren't I? Oh, double ended crochet. Not tried that. It's sort of like Tunisian with a point at the end. I think it's when you do different colours, you know, when you go. Instead of going that way and then this way, you go that way, and then you start at the other end and go that way again. <sighs> Another technique I've got to learn. <laughs> oh, and um, I watched, there was a, like programs uh, on YouTube about people, what they thought was essential, but they were only non-essential items. And um, I did one of mine. Um, one of them was, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, it was from Erin again, give me yarn 148. She had these little snips, these are puppy snips, but you can get them as kitty snips as well. Then you just pull them apart. Oops, a bit, they're a bit stiff yet, mind to pull apart. And they're just the teeny tiniest little pair 
with scissors. <laughs> I mean, they're on a little chain, so you could keep them on your key ring, you know. So you've always got, or in your purse. So you've always got little hair of snippers wherever you go. Anyway, I think that's about all I've got to say. Except so that I'm not really an envious person, you know. I might have a passing moment of envy. But I've really been so envious of the people who went on the crochet cruise, you know, with the crochet crowd. Mikey. Oh, you know, just the thought of it. A cruise with crochet, with lots of people who crochet. <laughs> that would be my idea of heaven. Absolutely my idea of heaven. Maybe one day I'll drum up enough money to go, but we have to keep giving people 30 quid back. <sighs> I'm not going to get very far, am I? Anyway, stress over. I'm not stressing anymore. It may be ill, so I'm not stressing anymore. <sighs> so, Oh, and I did get a letter back from Etsy. <laughs> they had happened to notice that I had letters in my um, inbox, or whatever you want to call it, for transactions that they hadn't had the commission on. Hmm. And was I was I violating their um, policies? Well, I do sell things through Facebook. I sell things through craft shops to other places. So, you know, I didn't realise that I was supposed to give them the fees and the rights to something that I hadn't actually crocheted and sold through them. <laughs> yeah, somebody might have contacted me. I can't remember if she contacted me through them or she contacted me through Facebook, but apparently I'm not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to put them for sale through Etsy so they can have their commission as well. Do you ever feel like you <laughs> peddling one bit forward and three bits back and, you know, I just feel like the world's been against me this week. It's not been a good week. And then the little dog across the road it walks with the dog walker with my uh, dog. Got savaged today uh, by a dog off its lead that came dashing out of a house further down the road from me. I bit it and threw it around. It was only two hours, so I bit it and threw it around like a rag doll. So the poor little thing is traumatised completely. Fortunately, it's just had stitches in either side of its little body. And it's had x-rays and there's no internal injuries. Thank God for that. But it's not been a very nice experience for everybody around. I mean, the dog has had a go at Buster one time, but Buster gave his, his all back, you know. But this time, my brave little soldier, she let the lead go while she was trying to get this other dog. And he ran up the road and sat down and waited for her. He's got enough sense to keep out of trouble. He's too old now to be bothered. When he was younger, he'd joined him, but... Uh, uh, he doesn't provoke a fight, Buster. He doesn't go in for fights at all. He growls, yes he does. Some people are afraid of him because he growls, but he doesn't bite and he doesn't instigate any fights. But when he was younger, he would retaliate. I mean, yeah, any dog would. Uh, but these days, no, he just ran away and sat down. <laughs> I think he realises he's too old for all this sort of thing. Anyway, uh, sorry about the lateness of the hour. I won't be uploading this till tomorrow because I'm going to bed now. So I hope you've all had a good day today and I hope you have a lovely weekend so bye for now. <laughs>